All right, in this lesson right here, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at our first weapon modification. No VTM is complete when talking about Unreal Script without modifying a weapon. Right, Logan? That's right. At least making the weapon do something amusing, like our new concussion rifle will. Now, we've already taken a look at how we can go about generating a new package, and we saw how we can put a whole bunch of content in there, create one new class to kind of pull it all together and make it usable in game. And now what we want to do is show you how you can go about taking a weapon that already exists, or technically anything that already exists inside the game, and modifying it. Of course, we're not going to be modifying the actual code. We talked about that being a no-no earlier, and really taking advantage of object-oriented programming. What we'll do is we'll basically create new classes where we will extend upon the classes we wish to modify, right? That's right. So take all the existing code, because if we just want to modify a shock rifle, it's very convenient that a shock rifle already exists. Take that code and build upon it. Exactly. So, the overview of our mod... What we want to do is alter the functionality of the shock rifle's primary fire. Okay. What we want to happen when we use our concussion rifle is basically three points of damage is going to be inflicted upon whoever gets struck with it. Also, that poor player or bot will be knocked ten times further than usual, which will uh, which will make things quite amusing for us anyways. And, you know, it's just kind of a fun little mod. It's very quick, very easy to do and overall has a lot of value in regards to how to go in and do something like this. Now, it's all about the classes. So what classes are of interest when talking about doing a basic weapon modification? Well, in general, you're going to find four different classes involved with weapons. You're going to have your on-the-ground, and by the way, I'm speaking figuratively or generally. You've got your on-ground or your pickup class, which represents the weapon when it is on the ground or on a weapon base. You've got the inventory class, which is once you've picked up the actual weapon, this is how the weapon exists with you. It's in your inventory or in your hands when you're using it. You've got the fire class, and this is the class that is in charge of handling the firing. Okay, So basically, when you hit that old fire button for taking care of the effects, for doing trace fire, or for actually spawning a projectile, etc. And then finally, you've got the alt fire class. Same thing if you're going to do a secondary it's, fire. It's, alt fire class is just, it's a fire class that's in the alt fire slot of a weapon. There you go. So... The three classes we're going to extend. Okay, when dealing with a shock rifle, we've got the shock rifle pickup, the shock rifle, and the shock beam fire. And you can see, let's go ahead and get the mouse in here. You can see how the shock rifle pickup, that is the pickup class that we was just talking about a second ago. We've got the shock rifle, that's when it's in your hands or in the inventory. And we've got the shock beam fire, which is, you know, when you're firing. So, the new classes that we're looking at creating, where we're going to extend upon those other ones. We've got the concussion rifle pickup, and it's going to extend the shock rifle pickup. So in other words, that means that the concussion rifle pickup is going to have everything that was in the shock rifle's blueprints. Right, Logan? Exactly. Except we're going to go in there and make some basic modifications to the default properties. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and say this. That's all we're doing is we're just overriding default properties for our classes here. No new functionality, just kind of changing some parameters, and that will make a little bit more sense in just a few minutes. Okay, we've also got the concussion rifle, and that one's going to extend the shock rifle. Okay, And remember, that's your inventory class. That's when you actually have it in inventory or you're actually using it. And then finally, we're going to create a concussion rifle fire, which is going to extend the shock beam fire. So in other words, this class right here is going to inherit everything from the shock beam fire in regards to taking care of how we're actually going to do the fire once a person hits primary fire. But that's where we're going to go in and modify a couple parameters. Right, that's where we're actually going to specify that it's going to do three points of damage and knock people ten times as far. Exactly. So, let us get started. So let me go ahead and just switch on over here to context. And we'll just simply start out by creating three new blank files. Okay. So let's start with this one right here. And let's go ahead and do the, the pickup first. So I'm going to throw in some comments, two forward slash ifs. If you remember, those basically are just notes for your programmer. And just go ahead and throw some symbols in there. And let's just go ahead and switch this over to Unreal Script. There we go. And concussion, rifle, pickup. And maybe some other notes that we could get in there. This is what will be laying 
on the ground. Simple enough. Okay, we could have copied above. All right, now, start coding. Class. Concussion. Rifle. Pickup. And it's going to extend the shock rifle pickup. Terminator. The only thing we're going to do in here is assign some default properties. So basically we're just overriding the default properties that comes with the shock rifle pickup. So inventory type equals class. Ah. Class and a single quote concussion rifle. So basically, Logan, when you pick up the concussion rifle, this is what's going to get triggered. Basically, we're going to generate an object based off of the concussion rifle class. Right. We have to know what type of inventory goes along with this pickup. Exactly. That's the name inventory type. All right. We're going to do a pickup message. You got the concussion rifle. And actually, we can get away with just that, right? Should be able to, yeah. Okay. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to cheat and copy some of this stuff up here. Actually, we'll go all the way down to right there. And let's go ahead and come over here and paste all of this. And let's go ahead and switch this over using Unreal Script. Okay. And this one here is going to be the concussion rifle. And this is this class is going to be your inventory class. So this is your inventory class. And so class concussion rifle. Let's go ahead and take that out. Extends shock rifle. So we'll take that out. Just kind of shortening up the whole process here. And default properties are going to be the item name. And Logan, while I type each of these in, do you want to go ahead and spend a second just talking about them? Because I, I do a horrible job of talking and typing at the same time, as we already know. Okay. So just simply specifying a name, if you were to, um, I guess, in the death messages, uh, you would see what weapon, or in death messages that use a weapon. Yeah, what okay, the actual what item name is, how we're going to represent this particular weapon. That's right. Which is concussion rifle. And then fire mode class, you want to go ahead and talk about the array? Now, fire mode class is um, a two-element array that holds what classes should be used when uh, when this weapon is goes to fire, meaning that what's what's basically what's going to be the primary and secondary fire. And, of course, the primary and secondary fire are classes underneath weapon fire. And this is specifying what weapon fire class to use for this for this weapon. Exactly. So basically with every weapon, fire mode class, which is an array, index zero is going to be your primary fire. That's right. So this is linking it up with the class concussion rifle fire, which we're going to write in just a second. Basically, that's how it's going to know what class is going to have an object spawn from it that's going to handle all primary firing responsibilities. Right. As soon as this uh, this concussion rifle comes into your possession, as soon as it's part of your inventory, what class to go ahead and create so that it'll be ready to handle uh, primary and secondary fire. And then with the pickup class, we'll go ahead and link this back with the concussion rifle pickup. Oops, and like such. And look pretty good to you, Logan? Yep. Okay, nice and simple. Now let's go ahead and switch on over here. And we'll paste. Go ahead and switch this over to Unreal Script. And for the final one, what we want to do is go ahead and take care of the concussion rifle fire. So concussion rifle fire. And this is this is our fire class. There you go. So concussion rifle fire. In this case, it's going to extend the shock beam fire. So, Logan, how would they come up? How would they know shock beam fire or the shock rifle or shock ri rifle pickup? How would they know these were the actual classes if they wanted well, to extend that? For the weapon fire, you'll find underneath the, uh, the class weapon fire, so if you go actor, weapon fire, underneath weapon fire, you'll have a 
a few special ones, and then primary ones like pri like uh, projectile fire and instant hit. Underneath those, you'll find a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that you've seen in the game, like the uh, the link guns primary fire or the uh, the, the lightning guns fire for an instant hit example. Okay. Now for the uh, the inventory class, you'll find up underneath actor inventory weapon. You'll have all the cl uh, the classes that you're actually holding, and then under actor, I think it's actor pickup, um, weapon pickup. Okay. You'll have a, a list of the existing weapon pickups. Okay. Very cool. Okay. So default properties. Here's where our action is really going to happen. We're going to go in there and momentum, and it's going to be equal to. And basically, all we did is we just added an extra zero in with what their default property was. So. So basically, theirs was this right here. We just put a zero in there. So damage min is going to be equal to three. And damage max is going to be equal to three as well. So basically, we're going to do a minimum amount of damage, three points. Maximum amount of damage, three points. And momentum, we're knocking them really, really good right here. Trust me. You'll see in just a minute. Okay, so is everything looking pretty good to you, Logan? Yes, it does. Okay, so as long as I didn't uh, mess up any of my spelling here, try not to talk too much while typing, let's go ahead and save these out, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to go ahead and file, save as, and let's go ahead and come up a level to the UT2003, and let's just go ahead and create a new folder, and this will be concussion rifle. And up under here, let's go ahead and do a new folder, Classes. And now we're ready to go ahead and start creating our, or saving out our classes. So Concussion, Rifle, Fire. And this one is going to be our Concussion Rifle. And then finally, concussion, rifle, pickup. And as long as everything was spelled great, all we need to do now is just uh, basic setup stuff that you guys have seen over and over and over, such as go into system. We need to go ahead and come all the way down and find the... UT2003 any file, control F, look for edit P. There we go. Let's go ahead and scroll down. We should still have our health sphere in there, and we do. Let's just copy that line right there, paste it right below it, and concussion rifle, like such. So we can go ahead and save that out and close it. And let's go ahead and get a command prompt open, and we're ready to do UCC make. And we'll see how my spelling was. Hey, very good. Look at that. So uh, analyzing, parsing concussion rifle, parsing concussion rifle pickup, and parsing concussion rifle fire. It compiled all three, imported, defaults, and look at that. Success, zero errors, zero warnings. Rock on. Okay, so at this point, we can just go ahead and start getting rid of some of these things here. And we no longer need that guy. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. All right, move that up, and let's just hop on in. Okay, so. All right. Hop down here, and we'll go ahead, and this is good enough. We'll come in here, and we will summon concussion rifle dot concussion rifle pickup, because remember... We need to do the pickup because that's what's on the ground. That's right. Hey, look at that. All right. So now let's just go ahead and grab it. Look at the bottom. You got the concussion rifle. So now let's go ahead and grab it. And now let's have ourselves a little bit of fun. So I'm going to go in here. Let's just jump into God mode real quick. And let's add a couple bots. So add bots too. And there we go. And they're already in there. Oh, here we go. I'll get over there. There she goes, well, two things at the same time. Look at that. Whoa, he got knocked way back over there. And a video we're recording. Lots of crazy video right now. Come on, get down. Fly out! Alright, that's it. There you go. So, so as you can see...
can see, that bot right there got knocked all the way over to the other side. And boom, boom, off the walls there. So boom, boom, boom. There we go. Stuck up in the top. And boom, way over and down. So the percussion rifle is now indeed working. Oh, wow. All the way down and up. And there you go, it's our first uh, weapon modification. Not that difficult, it's just a matter of changing a few classes around. And that was really it. Basically, we just went in there and we extended upon the shock rifle classes required for pickup, for the inventory, and for the firing. And the whole point was just so that in firing that we could change the momentum and the min and max damage. And that was really it. That's right, showing how in the end you've in that uh, concussion rifle.u file, which is easy to distribute, put it in someone else's system folder and, it'll, and you can still run it. Absolutely. And you're grabbing all the normal concussion rifle stuff, but you have just a slightly modified version. There you go. So with that, that's going to wrap up this, again, very simple example. Thanks a lot, everyone.